we're driving up the East Coast and driving through Pennsylvania, and we decided on a whim to check out the Turkey Hill Experience. Now, I went to college in Pennsylvania, so the Turkey Hill Experience, as I know it, is either going to a gas station at 3 in the morning because that's the only thing that's open, or just getting the Turkey Hill ice cream that your school cafeteria happens to carry, and also just sort of mediocre iced tea along with it. But we'll see what Turkey Hill thinks the Turkey Hill experience is. Yes, Turkey Hill, Central Pennsylvania's favorite ice cream, iced tea, and gas station. Three great tastes that go great together. But a brand so diverse still has found a way to inspire enough brand loyalty to launch this. Because apparently Pennsylvania is just the food brand tourist trap capital of the world. And the food brands are even infecting each other. I had no idea this existed, but we saw the big sign off the side of the highway as we were driving from Maryland to New York, and I can't pass a corny tourist trap without at least looking at it. Originally, we were thinking we would just pop into the gift shop. Oh, here there's those bow and arrows we weren't allowed to use at the rest stop. <laughs> We don't have that on camera. Oh, right. Uh, earlier that day, we stopped at a rest stop that had a sign forbidding weapons, singling out bows and arrows as one of the options. You had to be there. Turkey hill Opoly. If there's only one company involved, it really is a monopoly, isn't it? But then a field trip chaperone apparently had some kids who didn't show up, so the chaperone gave us their tickets. So we decided to experience Turkey Hill. First was a low-key, genuine historical museum about the Fry family and how they developed the Turkey Hill brand as they took root in the Susquehanna Valley. Susquehanna had to! Well, I'm standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. Then it was time to enter the experience. All right. Straight ahead on the left. All the drinks you want, self serve. Beautiful. Straight, straight back is all the ice cream you want. There's about 10 different flavors back here for you to try. Oh gosh. That's beside the kind of ice cream you want to get when you go down to the lab. Oh, wow. Just a heads up on ice cream, okay? Okay. Short video on the large ice cream part will explain how to use the tickets on the computer. Okay. Hats are on the other side. Okay. You guys still have some fun. Thank we you so will. Much. Thank all you. Right, you're welcome. And once we crossed inside, we saw more of the family history. But hey, it's cool to be indoors and still experience what it's like to be on the porch of a Cracker Barrel. And beyond that, it was basically an interactive children's museum dedicated to a single brand, and that brand's two most popular products. When I was a kid, there was a stretch where I wanted to be a farmer just because I thought milking a cow seemed interesting. Uh-huh. Sorry, Rosie is sick. She has been looking a little stiff. I don't know, I think this cow is the one that got sick. If you look at its side, you can see the future. This is the future lovers <laughs> Yeah, so this is my van. As you can see, I got a dead hell some really rad art here. Yeah. I'm just gonna drive around the country. <laughs> okay, so I found my new set for Obsession and D-List. <laughs> Problem is, every time you want to do it, you're going to have to come back yeah. to here. Now that's just adorable. <laughs> Damn it, they stole the premise for the next D-List. Now, as we all know, the four T's are Earth, Wind, Water, and Fire. Earth, Wind, Water, and Fire. Actually, I think the four T's were uh, John, Paul, George, and uh, the other one. <laughs> and Pete Best. You can tell this girl's rich because of the long ass candles on her birthday cake. <laughs> Naturally, there were big videos playing about the making of the products. So this is my new flat screen, but I just got the really weird shaped version because uh, I'm just that kind of a guy. See, the aspect ratio I like for my movies is um, obscuring most of it. <laughs> a lot of it was simulating a Turkey Hill factory, despite the fact that this seems to be nowhere near the premises of the actual Turkey Hill factory, even though the building sure looks like a factory. Well, it's no Burger King Kids Club crown, but it'll do everything. I think my head was too big for this even when I was the right age. This is what I want is to pretend to be in food service while I'm still working in food service. <laughs> See, the uh, the cow has eyelashes because uh, 
because cows need traditionally feminine signifiers, so you know that the cows are female. Oh, this one's the coolest cow. That's definitely cool. <laughs> this male cow. Everyone who finishes their ice cream gets an extra hour in the ball pit. And of course, there were plenty of free samples. How does it taste? Perfectly mediocre. <laughs> To get to the ice cream, you have to walk through a place that was clearly designed to be backstage. <laughs> what? The line for ice cream is longer than the line for iced tea? <laughs> but instead of the normal ice cream samples, we partook in market research. So we tried four slightly different vanilla recipes and gave our feedback. So when Turkey Hill releases a vanilla that's slightly different from the old vanilla, we helped. But of course I couldn't leave without the prime souvenir, my own Turkey Hill commercial. Hi, I'm standing here in the middle of the field, and there is a giant cow head right behind my back. It's moving around, but honestly, that thing is way too big for me to be this small. Anyway, I'm here to talk to you about Turkey Hill ice cream. Uh, look, there are words pointing to the cow. There's also a logo right behind me somehow, because that's how logos work. Look, if you want cream, but wish it was just a bit colder, why not go with ice cream? It's good. You like it already. You don't need me to sell you on ice cream. Turkey Hill. The Turkey Hill experience is a quaint and quirky little stop, and if you live in Pennsylvania and have small children, it might be a fun little day trip for you. I loved children's museums like this as a kid, even if I had no idea what I was actually supposed to be learning from them. If it's interactive, it's fun. So check out the Turkey Hill experience next time you're in the Lancaster area. So when are we getting the Pizza Hut experience with a little Turkey Hill inside it? Need. Baby, I love Rocky Road So won't you go and buy a half a gallon, baby I love Rocky Road So have another triple scoop with me Another triple scoop with me